All right, so just got out the pet shop, got a brand new filter. Or it's not really a filter, but this keeps the water from turning green. It's a UV light and it pretty much kills all the algae, which is my biggest concern because everything else just gets eaten up by the fish, uh, the crayfish and the snails. And if there's like actual trash in there, I'll just scoop it up. So I don't need an actual filter. This is going to be more than enough. And that's actually for an 1800 gallon pond and mine is only 300 gallons. So that's going to be perfect. All right, guys. So I came back to the pet shop because the UV pump that I had bought earlier, it was actually not a pump. It was just the UV clarifier. So you were supposed to connect that to a pump and then that uh, was connected to a filter. So it was basically uh, one thing that you needed to get two other things to be able to work. Um, but I came, switched it out. And um, since that was 160, uh, this was only 135. So I got some extra fish just to uh, match the remainder. Um, they would have probably just given me cash back, but I said I might as well just get a few more fish uh, These I'm probably gonna set up in another video for a different tank that I have because I don't want these to be eaten by the turtles Because they look kind of cool um, But because um, the ones that I have for the turtles are just like minnows and stuff I don't even know if they're actually minnows, but those are like the little mosquito fish that uh, That they put in the canals to eat all the mosquito larvae uh, those are the ones that I give to the turtles. They got some cool ones in there. They got I have some orange ones and I got some uh, pied ones. Um, but these are like different uh, breeds that obviously aren't wild. So um, I'm going to keep these indoors. Maybe if they reproduce, I'll throw some into the pond in the future. All right. So as you can see, the water is starting to turn a little bit green. So let me finally set up this filter. All the fish are eating. The turtles are chilling. They'll probably eat when I walk away from here. And I've been feeding them this for the past few days, but now I got some Missouri tortoise, or not tortoise diet, Missouri turtle diet. So that's what I'm going to be feeding from now on. Um, the turtles, they obviously got all the fish to eat as well. And um, there's other things in here like crayfish and snails as well that they could eat. But I'm going to be mostly feeding them the Missouri. So yeah, these guys, just like the fish, the fish are wild fish that I caught. You guys saw in my iguana video. I, I caught these all in a canal and they already come up to me as soon as they see me so that's super cool and then the turtles um i'm gonna they're gonna take a little bit longer to tame up but they will also become very tame in the future all right so here is the filter that i'm using hopefully it works out well um if anything if it doesn't kill the algae very well then i'll have to get the uv again i don't think this one has any uv um, I'm guessing that this is going to work just fine because it's going to be moving the water around and everything. But if anything, I would have to get a UV light to uh, help destroy the algae. But let's set this up. So here it is. This is the filter. And these I can buy in the same place where I got the... That, as you can see, it has a couple different layers here so the water I guess goes in through the top comes out the bottom all right so here is the pump so how this works is it pulls in the water through here and this is connected here so all the water goes in this way comes into here and pushes it out the top if I wanted to have it coming out of the water it has a little fountain I can they come with a few different uh things to make it uh, a little fountain so no you know so much chiquitas so right now i'm just setting it up so this is the hose that connects the, the filter and the pump got to screw this in right now i don't know why they made this a separate part i guess i guess so that if you wanted to you could um use pvc or something like that but uh i don't know if this is messed up little hose is what we're gonna use push it down there we go this is the whole filter now i'll pick out one of the fountains in a little bit gotta throw this in there and plug it in i gotta figure out somewhere to put this I'm guessing back there um, and I want to hide it with the rocks watch out Godzilla snapping turtles right there all right so here's the filter 
Um, I'm definitely gonna have to hide this a little bit better because I don't want it there. But so you can see this attachment. I don't need the whole thing. So let me. There we go. Took off one of them because the other, the rest was too tall. So this, this filter floats because there's water in it, or not water. There's air in it. But um, when I start it up, all the water is just gonna, or all the air is just gonna come out. So not sure. I don't like how big this is. I guess I'm just gonna have to hide it with some plants or something because the rocks are gonna be too heavy. So this, I don't want it to be so close to the basking spot because it's gonna be dry. I wanna move it that way. So I'm gonna put this over here. Like that. So this is how it's gonna be. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad anyways. Um, but I definitely want to put some plants or something over it uh, to hide it a little bit better. Alright, here we go. There's the filter. I think I'm going to just let it run like this for now. And you can see all the, all the air bubbles that came out of it. That was what was inside making this float. Alright, so there's one nozzle. That's basically a sprinkler and half of the water goes out. So that's not going to work out. And the next one... just shoots it straight up so also throwing a lot of it out so i guess i'm not gonna use any straight water like that it works just fine these are just like decorations you know this is already moving the water adding oxygen to the water and cleaning it out so this is more than enough well i'm gonna go pick up a few more yearling indian spotted turtles see if they're a good size so that i could put them in the pond um, so I've been talking to a local person, obviously you can't ship Indian spotted turtles because they're an endangered species and you're not allowed to ship them uh, between states unless it's a gift and you need like a special certificate uh, proving that it is. So it's a whole deal to be able to ship it. Uh, but this guy's in Florida, so I'm gonna meet him and see if he has some nice spotted turtles that we could get. Alright, so I got the three Indian spotted turtles right here. I'm gonna show you guys when I get home better because so you can see, it doesn't look too good right now. All right, so here are the three new Indian spotted turtles. The cool thing about these turtles is that these are the only species that could be sexed at this size. As you can see right here, this is one of the females with the V there. It's another female right there. And this is the male, as you can see, it's round. So you can see this is round for the males and the females is a V. Um, I haven't sexed the ones that I have outdoors, but I know at I have a few females because I all I've seen have been Vs. I did look at them, but um, not at all of them. So I'm guessing that I have uh, more, mostly females out there. All right, so let's check out the pond. Only Godzilla is basking right now. We're not basking, but check this out. A little Cuban tree frog the Godzilla and this one are the only ones that are out of the water right now they usually sleep up here as well um so Godzilla is going to be getting his new pond probably in the night either tomorrow or the day after actually tomorrow I might have a busy day but the day after for sure he's going to be getting his own pond so make sure you guys subscribe so that you don't miss that let's put these other guys in you know what let's see if we could sex some of these real quick all right all right so right here you can see this is a female uh let's put them in here so that i don't sex the same one multiple times so you got one female in there so we could get any more so right here. all right another female we got two females there. Oh, caught Godzilla. So the other one is right there. I don't think I can reach him. Yeah, these guys are a little too far for me to reach. Oh, there we go. Another female. So we got three females. Hopefully the last one is a male so that I have two males. But we shall see because I'm pretty sure when I looked at them, they were all looking the same way. Oh, here it is. 
and another female so it looks like we got five females no six females and one male so that's pretty good males are usually harder to find not sure about this species though since they are endangered they are harder to find um but we will see if maybe in the future i could find an adult male although i've never seen an adult of these this species for sale so let's put them all together and check them out all right so here they all are the male i'm pretty sure might be this one yep that's the male right there as you can see the difference one last time let me show you so that you guys see female think of it as a little v the male is like a little u an open u so that's how you tell the difference between these guys so pretty cool let's put them all back in the water so these are all my indian spotted turtles and these guys i'm really just getting them just for fun you know for the videos uh because i like them they're cool species it's not something that i could really profit off of uh that much i mean in the future maybe three or four years i'll be able to breed some possibly sell some locally but like i mentioned they're illegal to ship so it's a whole hassle to be able to sell them uh so i might not even sell them i might just get like a big pond and fill them fill them up with these guys and just let them breed and do everything by themselves naturally here in south florida although i'm not sure if they'll be able to produce babies here in south florida like that um like naturally just incubate but let's put all these guys back in here all right so that's not gonna work all right so let's put all these boys back in here these, this one going into her new home for the first time this one going back into her home immediately jumps in see this one he jumps in right away might need to get more logs now since i got more of them but this pond is probably becoming one of my favorite things already here look at these guys look how cool they are so yeah i'm gonna have these guys trained to like come right up to my hand to eat and everything uh, i just need a little bit of time obviously because these guys are still young and they're new to the pond as you can see the pond get, they get pretty murky not like super murky but um hopefully it clears up a little bit i'm gonna be adding some plants soon and uh shrimp as well which i already have i'm just gonna be breeding them before putting them in here so because i don't want them all to die off now these little guys the leopard tortoises one two three four five six seven eight so i don't know why these two think that they should be sleeping outside when the rain is coming where's the other one i saw the other one back here earlier i know my red foot always sleeps in here but i'm so i'm gonna put them inside just in case but look at this beautiful little red foot tortoise one of my favorite tortoises. Not the actual species, but the individual. Pretty cool redfoot. So, one more leopard is missing. I know I saw him when I was coming. I just forgot where. Cool little baby red, uh, leopard tortoise. So, the reason why I got so many baby leopard tortoises is because uh, these guys, they can't be... Uh, brought in as adults into South Florida or Florida in general because it's way too humid here They'll get a lot of respiratory issues, but these little babies could be very well adapted and these Sadly can't be sex. So I have no idea if I have 10 males 10 females or any other combo in between So these basically I just got to raise them up hope that I get mostly females And if I get too many males, I have to sell them off um, I'm guessing that I mean they came from three different places but uh, depending which of them is males, I, I'm probably going to be trading some males for other males. Just so that I'll have some different bloodlines. Um, but we'll see. And some other tortoises that I want to be getting soon. My next ones. Oh, I don't know why I'm opening this. It has to be the front. The next species that I'm looking into is elongated tortoises. Because those are pretty cool and they do well here. Alright, let's see if we could... Damn, I was about to say we could sneak up on them. But they're way too fast. Even Godzilla jumped in. He never jumps in. Oh yeah, check out how clear the water is today. One of them are there. Oh, look at the snow right there. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can feed these guys and see if they'll come up. The fish are definitely right here coming up. They come right up to me. The rippling of the water makes it look 
blurry, so look how many there is. It's a big fish, I'll look. What's up, bro? Are you gonna eat one or just stare at me? I actually just wanted to see me, huh? Just a little hope. Sometimes they let me pet them, but I don't know, they're a little bipolar. They let me pet them sometimes, sometimes they stay on the stick and I can just walk up to them. Sometimes they'll jump in as soon as they see me across the yard. Cool to see all these guys eating with this one right here. So yeah, I'm gonna just let them be in peace and end off the video here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't mind my eye, I got a sty. Um, so if you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Make sure you leave a comment with a future suggestion. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe and have a great day.